these breads these breads are the best thing that's ever happened to me um i've eaten three of them before we even crawled up the parking lot i love bread hey cool cats well first of all i just came from the dentist uh i had an eye exam today and i had a dentist appointment and i thought the dentist appointment would be really bad but they actually just like cleaned my teeth and it was pretty fast and it wasn't that bad and I got an eye exam and I'm getting gonna be getting a new pair of glasses and my eyesight has gotten a lot worse but besides that I am now finally able to record videos in my room again because well my bed's back I have a bed again and um, basically what happened was when I went away for school my little sister was quick to take my bed off the room so that she could have more space and she like rearranged the whole room and then at the same time my older sister's bed broke so it was just lucky she was lucky enough to be able to get my bed and so I didn't have a bed when I first came back. But now I have my bed again. And we put the room back to how it used to be. And everything's cool now. Besides the point, that's, that, has, has nothing, that has nothing to do with the video. But I can film my room now. I have this giant window right, right above my bed. Which is like the perfect spot for filming now. And so I have to hurry up and do this because the sun's about to go down actually. And I only have two bars on my camera. So this should be a challenge. So, I thought I would keep up the theme of Warp Tour because my Warp Tour date, both my dates are actually coming up really soon. My first one that I'm going to is on Friday, July 10th at Camden, New Jersey. And the second one I'm going to is, I don't know what day, but it's July 19th at Homedale, New Jersey. I think I said that right, I'm not sure. But yeah, so I did my Warp Tour Alpha's idea video, which I hope you guys enjoy. I actually haven't uploaded it yet as I'm filming this, but it should go up before this video. So, yeah, that's the thing. So today I thought I would do a what's in my warped her bag video because as I was packing my bag I got the idea and also someone asked me to do a what's in my bag video and I had a what's in my bag video uh, I had a what's in my bag video that I filmed last summer and it was completely awful and I looked horrible so it's on private now yeah so anyway this is like a continuation of my tips and actually in my outfits video I gave tips at the end and you guys kind of saw some of the things that I take with me Anyway, we're just gonna go through my bag. It looks really, it looks really full right now. And a lot of stuff I probably won't be keeping in here. Some stuff I just put in here just for now. This is a bag that I got from Urban Outfitters um, last year, I think. I got it for like back to school last year. I got it from Urban Outfitters. It has like all these pockets and places and stuff. There's pockets on the side, there's a pocket right here, there's a pocket right here, and then there's a pocket on the inside also. And it's really deep on the inside. It holds like a lot of stuff, so it's a cool thing. So I guess we're going to start with the, or actually we should start with the outside and work our way in, yeah. So in my little pocket in the front, I have like little stuff that like easy access stuff. So I have like this pair of sunglasses because, you know, work tour, you need, you need sunglasses for work tour because one, they make you look cool and two, you don't want the sun in your eye while you're trying to like fangirl over your favorite band member. That wouldn't be good now, would it? And then I just have all my Sharpies. <laughs> A lot of people say that you should bring Sharpies to work tour just in case, but like 9 times out of 10, uh, that band member will already have a Sharpie, especially if you're going to their signing. But like if you catch them off guard, they don't happen to have a Sharpie and you happen to have one, then that would be cool. And I have this thing. It is, it goes on like, it's a fisheye lens for my camera. It, you just put it on. It doesn't work with this case, but you just clip it on. You can clip it on the front or the back and it makes it a fisheye lens. And I like this a lot because you can get more in the picture and it also just makes your pictures look really cool. I take that like with me to concerts and stuff. I have the wall piece for my charger. Don't want to go anywhere without a charger. Even if you're going to be outside the whole time, and there's most likely nowhere you're going to be able to find to charge your phone in. But you want to take it anyway. Actually, some work tours venues, well, the one I go to has like a place you can go inside to charge your phone. And then I have change and a bobby pin. You never know when you're going to need a bobby pin. And then the next small pocket down here. I have makeup in here, but I probably won't keep this in here. I don't know why I have that in there. I have sandwich bags, as I mentioned in my work tour outfits video. They will come in handy for the rain. And I got that idea from someone else. I don't, I don't remember where I got it from, but that's a good idea because I never thought of it. I also just have a bunch of lip products because <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to be using. Uh, so I just put these in here for now. And I'll just keep them in there because I have to keep reapplying something to my lips throughout the day because it just sucks to have dry lips at a concert, at an outdoor concert where it's like 90 degrees. And I have another bobby pin. I didn't even know these bobby pins were in there. And then we're going to go to the side pockets. See what's in there. It's stuck. My pocket's stuck. I got it. I have this bracelet. 
I got this from like a little shop on uh, there's this like street called South Street in Philadelphia and I got this from a little shop there and I thought it was really cute I love the Hamza I love the meaning behind the Hamza and I feel like this bracelet sometimes brings me good luck so I sometimes take it with me places where I feel like I need an extra boost of luck you know so <laughs> Oh my gosh, okay, I have my pizza, tr my tr Christmas tree pizza ornament because I thought it would be funny to ask Jared Alonji to sign it for me. And if you don't know who Jared Alonji is, he's another YouTuber. He's uh, on Warped Tour this year as a pit reporter for um, Fearless Records, which is really cool. And I think he's mostly known for like his every something artist. So he did like an every pop punk uh, singer video and every metalcore singer or whatever. And I think his most popular one that seems to be like his most popular one is like the pop punk one. So pizza, pop punk, I thought it'd be funny to ask him to sign it for me. And I, I, I just want that to happen. I want that to happen so bad. <laughs> I have this in here, but this is from my photography school. This has nothing to do with Warped Tour. It's called a loop. It magnifies your um, photos for use. So you can check them out. It has nothing to do with this, so. And now this big part, the inside. First I have a beanie because like I mentioned in my outfits video, I always bring a hat because I don't want to look bad in photos even though sometimes I forget to even get the hat out and put it on. Like this, I don't really care about. That's kind of fine. Sweating my hair out, I don't really care about. But if it rains and it's like completely terrible, then I have a hat. And then I have a bottle of lotion because why not? Why not? I don't know why. Then I have this book. This is my book that I write everything in and I have like lists that I make about everything and um, basically every year since 2013 I've been making like a work tour list and it's really nerdy and it's color coordinated 2015 and I color coordinate it so like highlighter yellow with the pink um, heart means bands that I absolutely they're my absolute favorite bands and I have to see them the blue the ones with the blue next to them are the ones that I have to meet the green is someone I can see or meet if we have time to. And then the orange are bands that I should check out, their music. Even though last year I forgot to even check the list. But I kind of like, I know the stuff in my head, but I like to write it out also. So like, the list is kind of irrelevant, but I like having it written down, so. And also because I have a, a page. Also because I have a page um, dedicated to Dakota Went of things he said in his videos so I just like pulled him like little quotes he said and um, I was thinking about asking him to sign it for me just like sign it at the end because I love his videos and they like inspire me a like they're so inspirational they like inspired me a lot like sometimes I'll just be watching them and then he'll say something and I'll just like like one time I started crying because of how relatable it was and it pretty much yeah so I kind of want to show it to him and have him sign it um, and then I have the ever so great State Champs Windbreaker! Yes! Yes! <laughs> and then I have this in here because I'm probably going to be wearing this with one of my outfits. It is my um, makeshift flower crown. It was actually a lay, like the little Hawaiian lay things. And I kind of like tied it together to make it shorter and it turned it into a flower crown. I think it's really cute. And it's not real flowers, but like who even wears real flower crowns? Anyway, ah, uh, yeah, I have a pen. I don't know why I have a pen, but I guess it's because I have my book also, and to write in my book. I have my hipster glasses, hipster shade here. I just wanted to remind you guys that um, if you're going to Warped Tour this year, I, I heard about all those bands first. I was number one. And the last thing I have is my Clueless wallet. This wallet is like gorge. Ooh. Yeah, I have my wallet for like money. Even though I don't have that much right now, but I have money for merch and my ID and stuff that might come in handy. I don't know why. And also I have in my wallet my work tour ticket because you can't get in work tour I ticket. it. Silly goose. And then of course I would have my phone. Probably my headphones even though you don't need headphones at work tour. I'll probably bring them anyway because I take my headphones everywhere with me. And then i probably bring my charger also just in case I find somewhere I need to charge my phone suck if your phone died at work for it. Most likely I would also have my small uh, point and shoot digital camera, but I don't have it right now. I think it's somewhere downstairs and I don't feel like going down there to get it, so I'm sorry. But I showed it in my um, work tour outfits video at the end where I was giving my tips. So if you want to see it, then you can go to that video if you haven't seen it yet. But yeah, that's pretty much everything in my work tour bag. <laughs> probably pretty lame, but like that's pretty much all you really need at work tour. You don't really need a lot. That probably seemed like a lot, I don't know. 
But yeah, you don't really need to take a lot with you to work tour because then you just be lugging around a heavy bag. Plus, you'll most likely be getting like, you'll probably, you'll be getting merch, you'll be getting like, they hand out free stuff sometimes. So you should leave some extra room in your bag for that too. But yeah, this is the bag I'm taking. Um, probably not the ideal bag. A lot of people say you should get like the drawstring bags, but I don't really have any of those and I don't really like those. So I feel like this kind of bag is better for me. I always take these kind of bags. I took it with me last year and it was fine. So I think I'll be fine this year again. Yep, that's all the things I have in my bag. So yeah, I did it! Yes! That was like the fastest video I ever filmed. <laughs> that was like probably under... That was under an hour. Which is kind of crazy. I never, I don't think I've ever filmed a video under an hour. Yeah, my day was eventful. I have been woke since 9 o'clock... No, since like 8 o'clock last night for some reason. I was I was asleep all day yesterday. I didn't wake up until 8 o'clock at night. And then I, I've been woke ever since then. And right now it is... It's 6 o'clock at night right now. So I've been woke for almost a full day now. But anyway, I'm rambling. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos from me, then subscribe to my channel. And um, I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye! I eat bread like it's chips. Like, eat, whether it's like bread rolls or like sliced bread like loaf like a loaf of bread i will eat it out the bag like it's chips i've been doing this ever since i was like three or four probably and my mom's trying to tell me that bread's bad for me and i'm just like it, that's impossible i love bread bread's my life i'm like a duck <laughs> i just called myself a duck i've been watching too much pewdiepie